it's a cold wintry day here in the Blue Hills Reservation. We had just a little bit of snow last night. And I'm going down to the lower Squamog pool to check it out and to see how thick the ice is. Hopefully in a couple of days I can get some of my students out here and we can actually take an ice core and see how thick the ice actually is in a vernal pool in the winter time. So come on, let's go check out what's going on at the lower Squamog pool in the Blue Hills Reservation. You know, some people just don't like winter very much, but winter is a very important season here at the Vernal Pool. You know, we've described vernal pools as depressions in the land that fill up with water for part of the year. But have you thought about where that water comes from? Take a look at this landscape around me. Do you see all the snow that's covering the land? Well, of course, snow is just frozen water. The snow is going to accumulate over the course of the winter and then when spring comes and it starts to warm up, the snow is going to melt. And then something has to happen with all that water. So it percolates down into the soil and then flows downhill under the force of gravity until it gets to this depression. So it's the melting snow and the spring rains that fill up the vernal pool. Yep, there be ice down there. I wonder how thick it is. I might have to get Kyle Lally out here and do a core of this ice and see just how thick it might be and then maybe stick a camera down there and see what's going on underneath this ice. Yeah, there's nothing like an ice cold vernal pool to really get the juices flowing. Woohoo! Vernal pools, baby. It just doesn't get any better than this. So if you haven't checked out a vernal pool in winter, come on out. They're pretty awesome. Just be careful out on the ice. If it's too thin, you might fall in. We don't want that to happen. You know, as I go back to my car, and I approach Chickatawbit Road here, I'm reminded with all the cars going by that these vernal pools that I love and I visit all the time are actually part of an urban landscape, a landscape that is affected by humans. So I'd like to take the time to thank the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and Mass Parks for setting aside the 7,000 acres of conservation land just south of Boston here. I'd particularly like to thank Alexandra Achandi, the Natural Resource Specialist for uh, Mass Parks, who has worked so diligently with us on vernal pool projects for the past few years. Thank you so much, Allie, for all that you do to protect wildlife here in the parks of uh, Massachusetts, and in particular the Boston area.